Hi, welcome to Sports Illustrated Extra Mustard's vlog cast for YouTube. My name is Nicole, I'm in charge of Extra Mustard. This is uh, my dear friend Eitan Levine, a comedian in New York City, and Sports Illustrated writer David Gardner. But not a dear friend. But no. not a dear friend. No. I hate him. Yeah. So one thing, uh, LeBron said that he was not going to let his kids play football. Which is interesting because he was a highly touted football. Yeah, he played football in yeah. high school. He's I'm been the most guess... startling person, yeah. right? <laughs> to play defense against. He's six foot eight. Yeah. I wouldn't let my kid play football with the exception of my dream for my child is to be a punter. Oh yeah, yeah that's because, the dream. Yeah, because the NFL minimum is like $500,000 yeah. for yeah. a vested veteran. The kicker, people blame all the time because he misses the game-winning field goal, he mm -hmm. misses an extra point, people get upset about him. When's the last time you were like really, really upset at a punter? I can't think of a single time. Right? I can't think of a single feeling that I've ever had mm -hmm. towards a punter. Right. Like, punter or negative. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what do you think a week of practice is like for punters? Like, what do they do? Oh, nothing. They yeah. punt like five times and then they're like, oh, yep, you can still punt, go home. See how I punted on that one? <laughs> yeah. Pretty good. Mm -hmm. yeah. Alright, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> uh, Jimmy Graham had a big, big game yesterday. Good day for Jimmy Graham, despite the whole Hail Mary thing. But, he also did get groped. You gotta watch the close-up, though, because it's not just a person groping him, it's a person it's dressed as the, the Joker. Joker. <laughs> Wait, really? Yeah. yeah. From here, it looks like Rue McClanahan. I was reminded immediately when I watched this of the Joker Whoa. quote from The Dark Knight, which is, uh, you know, I'm just a dog chasing cars. I wouldn't even know what to do if I caught one. Well, and I'm imagining this guy's like, no way, no way, there's an NFL player here, what do I do? Grab his ass. <laughs> Gotta grab his ass. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity. Yep. Mark Cuban went on the record saying that he thinks that the Thunder should tank this season because uh, both their star players are injured for at least a month and they've really been struggling. Um, and so he, he, he was like, I'm not saying they should tank. I'm just wondering why they're not tanking. Mm -hmm. You know, that's classic Cuban Shark Tank maneuver, right, Dan? <laughs> he's going to hold back. Mm -hmm. He's going to wait for Damon John to say, mm -hmm. I'm out. Mm -hmm. And then he's going to go in and buy the Thunder. If you were running the Thunder, would you tank? Would you take this season? I think it's difficult because a team of 50 wins la or 49 wins last year didn't make the playoffs out of the Western Conference. So yeah. like, their odds of even making the playoffs, even if you know Kevin Durant comes back in six weeks, are pretty low. So I don't know. It's a tough. It's a tough decision. But you know, in the NBA with the lottery, there's still not a guarantee that even if you tank, you could still have the 14th pick, which in this draft isn't like last year's draft where there were a ton of great players coming yeah. out of college. Like. 14th pick this year, you might have to pick Frank Kaminsky, and I don't know how much he really helps your team. As a rookie, uh, and the 15th know? pick this year is Kevin. <laughs> just, no last name. Just Kevin. The sheriff. <laughs> of, the sheriff of basketball. I, they Anybody, can't. come on up here. <laughs> here Do we first? have any volunteers? Whoever gets here first, you're now on the Thunder. Brock Osweiler got real sad this weekend, you guys, because he thought he was going to get to play football, and <laughs> he didn't get to play football. So, yep, Peyton Manning's running back out. Oh, oh no. 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 I like what how, poor guy. I like how at the beginning of the clip, right, you can see him turned around, yep. he's got his hat yeah. on, mm -hmm. and then he takes it off, and he's like, sweet guys, it's about time to get in, and he turns around, and he's like, son of a gun! <laughs> You're also the only, probably one of, Ten quarterbacks, backup quarterbacks in the league that fans don't like better than the starting quarterback. You know, like <laughs> the, the backup quarterback is always the most popular guy. Yeah. Maybe Brock Osweiler would be more popular if he teamed up with a pizza chain. Sure. Like maybe Dominoes Brock Osweiler and Domino's yeah. got together. How many what? sponsors have you brought into the team? Because let's be honest, you're not throwing touchdown passes. So we need a social media intern. <laughs> Rock Osweiler, can you be in charge of our Twitter from the side? <laughs> and the thing is, they put him in later. That's such a, that's such a, like a. a it's know. actually because his mom came down from the stands and was oh. like, well, "You've got to get my boys." To <laughs> Do you know how many times I have brought oranges? <laughs> yeah, I brought orange, orange slices. slices and granola bars to the Broncos. I'm on the PTA. <laughs> okay, I'm on the Denver Broncos PTA. <laughs> Uh, thanks for watching, guys. We're going to be back every week. Don't forget to subscribe to Sports Illustrated's YouTube channel. You can do that if you click right here.